So today we're going to talk about how to put the ADJ magnet tubes on something other than a flat par. So if you have any other light, even if it's a metal light, but it's a little small for those magnets to actually go onto, the official word is you can't use the magnet tube. But I think that you absolutely can. In fact, I proved it in my last video. We put one on a 5P hex and a hex par 3 with a little bit of modifications. Not a big deal. Just because you can't do it out of the box doesn't mean it can't be done. You know, back in the old days, we didn't have a DJ store that you went to and bought equipment that was all plug and play. Oh no, you went to the consumer electronics store, you went to the hardware store, you went to the music store, you also went to some warehouse somewhere where clubs and bands bought lighting. It wasn't a nice, pretty retail showroom. So when it comes to doing little modifications like this, I think it's fun and it gets people thinking. We're gonna put these magnet tubes on some plastic fixtures. The Mega Par Profile and the Mega Tri Par Profile are the ones we're looking at today. This also works for the Plus. They're plastic. So how are you gonna put magnets on plastic? It's not very hard at all. You just have to use a little bit of caution and you can do this with no problem. Check it out. All right, so here's our magnet tubes. When you undo these little thumb screws here, you can actually pull the tube itself off and you have your base. Now the base has magnets on it. The way this works is you just clip it onto one of the flat pars and it's perfect. But on something like the Mega Tri Par Profile, the Mega Par Profile, even the Plus versions of this, they're made of plastic. So obviously magnets don't stick to plastic. That's not going to work out for you. So you got to do a little bit of a hack here. If you take a very close look at the magnets on the bottom of this magnet tube plate, you'll notice there are Phillips screws. Hope you can see that. So what you do is you take a screwdriver and you pop those Phillips screws out and get the magnet out. Once you've removed all four of your magnets, put them aside, put your screws somewhere safe if you want to reuse them again sometime, and now draw your attention to the profiles. You have one, two, three, four, five, six screws on this outer plastic plate on both versions. The inside here is metal, the outside is plastic and they're identical on each fixture. Remove four screws here, 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 and here. Take your Phillips screwdriver, stick it in there, and pop the screw out. Now once you have the screw out, uh, it's just long enough to pop the magnet on uh, that you took off of the magnet tube plate. So if you have a real close look at the end of my screwdriver, I have the magnet and the screws sticking out of it there. Just put it in this hole. Now one word of caution, we're dealing with plastic casings on here. So you don't want to torque it down really hard, you just want to get it snug. If you try torquing it real hard, you could risk stripping out the threads in the plastic casing. Now if you do this, don't freak out because you can always go to the hardware store and get slightly longer screws so you can get a bite, but try not to do it. So I'll zoom back now and you'll see that I have done all four corners. Now just take your magnet tube base plate that you've removed the screws and magnets from. By the way, you can put the screws back in here for safekeeping if you want to. Anyway, no problem. It fits right there on the Megapar profile. Take a look. And of course, just to trim it all out, we'll pop the tube on here so you can see what it all looks like. I looked at these things, I came up with all kinds of crazy solutions, modifications, but you know, when it really came down to it, I wanted to present something that anyone could do. And big thanks to Brother Andy, he helped me out with some of the stuff I couldn't think, and he came up with some really good ideas too, so he was a big help. Thank you, Andy. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope it helped somebody practice and enjoy.